Hi again everyone, this is Jeff Ryland with Abundant Design. Today we are going to talk about propagating root stocks for new trees from root suckers. So this tree is an older tree that I got a long time ago at a box store. Um, it's a McCone apple on semi-dwarf root stock. I don't know exactly what variety of root stock that is. Um, I'd guess maybe M111, maybe M26, something that's not full size but not a dwarfing rootstock either. I like to use semi dwarf rootstocks because they can keep a smaller tree, but yet they're not as tender as some of the um, dwarf rootstocks like B9 um, that you would have to stake for the life of the tree. Um, if you're going to do an espalier, the dwarf rootstock is fine because you can train it to a trellis and that will give it the support it needs. So a lot of times when you get a tree like this um, you'll get these root suckers coming off the trunk and that is coming from the root stock. If you when you planted the tree you can usually see that scar from where the scion wood which becomes the variety of apple that we like like this macone you can see where that was grafted onto the desired root stock. In this case, it was the semi dwarf. So, we'll take these suckers, we can uh, scar the bark a little bit if we want to. Um, not necessary every time, uh, depends on the variety of the root stock. This one, we, we don't know what it is, um, but it'll be a semi dwarf root stock so you can propagate new trees um, for your orchard or um, just your um, acreage or whatnot. So we'll bend this down. What we'll do is we use this pin to stake it down, but we'll scratch in to the dirt, the soil, clear some of this uh, ground cover away. We've got strawberries and some lavender. I'm sure smell that lavender. Um, and we'll put We'll bury that sucker in this dirt here, and we'll use this this pin, and I can use that. It's a tent stake. It's got a little uh, hook on it, um, and that will help hold that in the ground. Crumple some dirt back on it. And this will continue to grow. Eventually this will put out roots and we can cut it off here and have new root stock. Now we'll find some that I've done uh, either last year or maybe even I did it this spring early. I, I can't remember. I um, Probably last year actually on this one and uh, we'll clip it off. Kind of tease it out and there you can see um, the roots that have started to form calluses and we're getting a lot of good root growth there. So then here we've uh, cut it out from the ground. We've kind of tugged it out and teased it out and tried to be careful of as many roots as we could. And we'll put this in an appropriate sized pot, keep it watered, well watered. Um, we might even uh, strip off a few extra leaves just to reduce the, the stress that's on these roots. Um, I'll probably maybe stake this up to keep it straight so we'll have a nice straight clean root stock to graft onto this winter. So this is Jeff Ryland with Abundant Design. Thanks for stopping by. And if you would like help with your garden, um, give me a call, shoot me an email, and you can get a design going so that you have a sustainable, edible, and regenerative landscape um, that's better for you and for the environment. Take care.